Okay, so really this is just a quick update on the function that we created to um, determine the access rights for a user. So as it stands, we have, um, if we go over to index.php, uh, I gave the example if is underscore admin and then we pass in a user ID, that's equal to true, echo admin. Now we can actually change this um, is admin function to be a lot more flexible. Let's just say we had two different levels of um, users um, powers. So let's say we have one and two. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change uh, Billy's account to be type 2. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, um, we could change this to is or no, we'll say has access. So I'm going to say user ID and then I'm going to say type. Now, what do I do with this? Well, has access now allows us to pass in a user ID and specify a type so we can choose a type anywhere we want. Uh, so let's go ahead and just escape, uh, well, sorry, rather um, uh, cast this type to an integer. Let's tidy this up a bit. And what we can actually do is we can now go ahead and just pass this through to the query. There. So now what I can do is I can modify this here. Uh, let, let's just go and modify this admin protect function first because we've used is admin which now doesn't exist. We have this has access. Um, so I'm going to say if has access user ID and one. Perfect. So we, this is this is basically protecting us against. Um, well, it's saying are, are you an admin? Um, on the index page, let's go ahead and do the same thing. And then we'll see how we can put this to use. So that is fine, that works, okay. Um, we're an admin, so we can go ahead and access admin.php. However, Billy is type two, so let's log out and log in. Ah, there we go, we've got an undefined variable there. Um, that's because this is just an example, so we can safely ignore that for now. Uh, that's just because we're not logged in, by the way, so this session user ID doesn't exist. Okay, so let's go ahead and log in as Billy. Um, and we've got no admin message here. Um, and we're also not allowed to access admin.php, which is fine. So let's go ahead and experiment with this. If um, has access session user ID equals one, uh, if that's equals true echo admin. Otherwise, if... And this isn't something you should do on a page necessarily here. You would check that the user's logged in first, blah, blah, blah. Um, if has access session user ID and then two is equal to true, we could say echo um, moderator or something. I don't know, um, just depending. So now what's going to happen is we're going to get this moderator um, here. So in short, that is how we um, can differentiate between different um, users. And obviously when we go and head and access admin.php, it doesn't let us. But we could go ahead and create a function that protects against moderators. So there we go, is a, you know, just a little update there to um, change that function to make it a bit more flexible.